Okay, in this video, I wanna do something a little bit different. So if most of you guys know, if you do not follow me on my blog channel, I have a blog channel, Just Anne's World. And over there, I talk about more personal things. I'm in the middle of a divorce. I am redoing my house, you know, painting, decorating it, doing home improvements myself. And I'm in this mind space now that I wanna declutter. I wanna get rid of a lot of things. And it's kinda of like, less is more. So I have a lot of makeup and I've done declutter videos before, but I've never done eyeshadow palettes. And that's because I have a very addictive personality. And in 2017, when I started this channel, I was at my, one of my deepest depressions. I was 50 pounds overweight. I didn't wear makeup for years. And I started getting into makeup. I, I'm learning about this YouTube internet world. I start getting into subscription boxes. And I just would buy and buy. I would buy makeup, especially eyeshadow palettes, and wouldn't even swatch them or anything. Just buy them. Especially like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep. You know, you do that online shopping, you know, when you're depressed. And then I would get the palette, look at it, say, oh, that's beautiful. And maybe swatch a few colors. Maybe not. But definitely not try it on. And then that's it. I probably have over 400 palettes. I have in one of my closets over here, I have boxes when I moved into this house three years ago of where I couldn't fit the eyeshadow palettes because I used to have instead of this dresser here I used to have a bookshelf like a bookcase so I would just keep the palettes in the boxes I mean they've been in I think I have two boxes filled that I haven't even looked at for three years them those I'm automatically just going to get rid of I haven't looked at them in three years I don't need them now but I want to go through this dresser here and just get rid of stuff. I want to get down to at least under 100 palettes. I don't even need that many. But, you know, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and say I can get to 20 palettes. I just know that I can't. I don't want to overdo it and then I regret it and then I start purchasing again. You know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start a declutter series. I'm going to start with the hardest one first, the eyeshadow palettes. And then work our way down so I came on here plain face because after this like I said I've been doing the house up and everything and while I have the desire to do it I gotta do it because if I wait it may not get done so anywho if this is something that you're interested to in and want to see my collection slash declutter of my eyeshadow palettes keep on watching and there's Nala so in the first drawer is all my Jeffree Star palettes. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't know how many I'm going to get rid of, not with the Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star, Natasha Denona, Pat McGrath, they're all going to be hard for me. So let's start with my first drawer. Okay. The first is the Alien palette. Now this ain't going nowhere. You can't get this anymore. But I love this palette. The formula is so good. I do not know why he discontinued it, but it is really, really good. I love this palette. Then we have the Bloodlust. This has all the purples and pinks one could ever imagine. It is absolutely gorgeous love it I don't really care for the shimmers too much in this palette but I do tend to uh, reach for it quite a bit we have the prick palette this is a, one of my favorite fall palettes all the it, it, all the oranges it, it's just the perfect fall palette for me it's probably my favorite palette out of the collection. So this is not going anywhere. <laughs> Who remembers the conspiracy palette with Shane Dawson? I can't get rid of this only because of, I mean, the memories. But he definitely changed up the formula. And it's, it's not as good as his other formulas. 
Okay, Blue Blood. I do not know why I purchased this. I don't know. I don't ever reach for, I don't wanna get you, blind you, this uh, for blue eyeshadow. But I had to have the whole collection when I was going through my makeup addiction. Blood Money. This is a beautiful palette. This has all the greens one can ask for. Very pretty. The Blood Sugar. This is probably my, my uh, most used out of the collection. That's what she looks like. Very beautiful. This is the cremated palette. I never reach for grays and blacks, ever. But I had to have it. So, I don't know. This is, I'm gonna keep it. The Star Wedding. This one right here, the formula is not good. He definitely changed up his formula. And I paid so much money for it. If I don't continue to use this, I will get rid of it. I just, I don't know. I do not like the formula in this. But it's a pretty palette. Orgy. I actually really like this palette too because of the transition shades. When I don't know what I, how I want to start my makeup look, I always reach for this palette. Then we have the Jawbreaker. This has every colorful eyeshadow you can think of. Pink Religion. This is the one I wish I did not get because I'm not a pinky type of girl. I like my purples, but I don't tend to reach for a lot of pinks. And so I don't use this a, a lot, but I, I bought it for the packaging, you know? All right, both mini controversial palettes. One has a green and one has that brown. So this has the root beer shade right there. Um, what is it called? Yeah, Diet Root Beer. This was the first one. And then this was the second one when everybody wanted that green. To me, this was just a money grab. I mean, it's almost the same palette, but the green. They're going to be shocked. The Weirdo Palette. I really like this palette. I don't reach for grays, but when I use this palette, I use this here, and then I combine the black and the brown to deepen it up, and it's gorgeous. I love when I my look when I create, when I use this palette. Here's one I know I can get rid of. This is the Thirsty Palette. I've only kept it because you cannot buy this anymore, but I do not like the formula, and I do not reach for this at all. At all. The shimmers are terrible. I just don't like it. So, I will put this in the palette. Banana Fetish. I don't wear yellows. However, the shimmers are... The metallics are like one of its best formulas in this palette. So I'm definitely keeping it for that. I wish you would have kept the, the formula of the shimmers in his palettes. All right. This mini orgy palette. I got this because this was an all shimmer palette. However, it was terrible. Terrible. I don't know what you can say. But they just didn't show, I don't know, the way that I'm sitting. It just did not show up really good. So I, I can definitely get rid of this palette. This is another palette I can get rid of. I believe this was the second palette, the Androgyny palette. And I mean, this right here broke, but I never reached for this. And this is about four or five years old, if not longer. So I can definitely get rid of this palette. The mini jawbreaker. I already have the jawbreaker, so do I need this? I always say, well, if I travel, but I never travel. But I'm still going to keep it because if I just get rid of it to get rid of it, I'll regret it. 
So keeping it for now. All right, the Beauty Killer and the Beauty Killer 2. This Beauty Killer I've never used. I got it in a mystery box. This was his very first palette, and I'm definitely going to keep it. I haven't even tried it. The Beauty Killer 2 I did try. I wasn't that impressed. I like the packaging. And this shade right here is gorgeous. Let me just show you. I mean, look at that. I mean, would you look at that? It's like a greenish blue brown. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just gorgeous. So I will be keeping this. All right, so here is the next drawer. This is more of my like influencer brand eyeshadow palettes. So where do I want to start? Oh, Mel Thompson. Of course, I'm going to keep this. May she rest in peace. This was her Tiny Marvels palette by Sydney Grace. And, of course, I'm going to keep this. Absolutely. Beautiful palette. Here is the Patrick Star uh, One Size. And I got this in a boxy charm, I think. I don't even think I ever used this. Look at this. Never even been swatched terrible so I'm definitely going to keep this and try it just to see if I like the formula Tati Beauty of course I'm keeping this she can't even get this anymore it's the volume one I wish she starts another line love this so much I'm definitely going to keep this I love the glitters oh so gorgeous we have a lot of Lunar Beauty, Manny MUA. I actually really, really love his formula. This is the Moon Spell Volume 2. I mean, would you look at the packaging? Just look at this. Gorgeous. I think I only used this once. The pink and the purples. I actually prefer this over the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. All of Manny's palettes I'm going to keep. Here is the original Moon Spell one. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Gorgeous. Definitely keeping this. Definitely. I have two. How did I get two Moon Spells? What? Let me see. Did I use this one? This is brand new, so this will go in a giveaway. Now, how did that happen? All right, Life's a Drag palette. I'm keeping this. This was the original. I believe he um, discontinued this. But do I need it? I don't know. We're going to put this in the maybe. All right, this is the Greek Goddess palette. I love, love, love this palette. Oh, love it. Domini Cosmetics. This is the Latte 2 palette. And I've never even swatched this, but I'm going to keep it. See, I'm having a hard time. These are the ones that I'm going to have a hard time. When it comes to the indie brands, I can throw a lot of them away. Not throw away, but like declutter. All right, Eternal Eclipse. This is the second one, I think, or I'm not sure. This is when I had to get the whole collection. I don't even think I used this. Beautiful palette. Strawberry Dream. I have used this. Love it. This is Lunar Beauty as well. Keeping... Nude Prison Palette. I love this palette. Definitely keeping. Definitely. This one I want a neutral look. Okay. This is the Transition Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. And I'm going to keep this one too. This is good. You can use for bronzer if you just want a neutral look. Um, I definitely keep, in, keep this for the no makeup makeup looks. This is uh, Paige Chrisley. I'm not sure what her YouTube channel name is now. Um, she has a um, website called uh, Dramatique Boutique. 
This is her No More Nudes palette. And I got this just to support her, but I haven't tried it yet. So I'm going to keep it. Smoky Glow. Who remembers this? Definitely going to keep this. Well, I don't know. This is going to be in a maybe because I never reach for it. This is what Midas Cosmetics. So this will be in the maybe. Becky G. This is the Trelouse palette. I don't know how to pronounce it. And I just love the formula. But do I ever reach for it? That's the question. So I'm going to put this in a maybe. All the Wayne Gosses I'm going to keep because of the formula. It's just out of this world. So definitely keeping. Kat Von D, I'm getting rid of. I saved this because I had a subscriber send this to me. Um, and this is probably six years, five years old. So I have to get rid of it now. But I kept it for the packaging. But definitely getting rid of this. This is the Rustic Glam Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. And I like this palette too. So I'm going to keep Hindash palettes. Of course, I'm keeping them. They are so expensive. I got this in uh, Beautylish. Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put this in a maybe pile. Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas. This was her very first palette. I can... Get rid of this. This is old and I don't reach for it. And I was keeping it just for the memories because it was her first palette and you can't get this anymore, but I'm going to get rid of it. All right. So this is the Alamar Spanglish palette and I'm going to get rid of it. I don't ever reach for it. This is the Spanglish palette. Is this the same one? Yeah, the packaging is different. I don't know why, but it's the same palette. So I'm going to get rid of both. That's weird. All right. Getting rid of both. This is the first one. I really enjoyed the formula on this, but I don't reach for it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Lunar Beauty, 12 Days of Lunar. Um, last Christmas, he came out with a... Uh, Advent calendar, and these were in there, so I'm going to keep this. Very pretty. Laura Lee Nudie Patootie Palette. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I, I like the formula. Nudie Patootie 2. I'm going to keep this. I just got this in a mystery box, so. But do I need this one and the Nudie Patootie? Let's see. I'm just going to keep it for now. Fenty Beauty. I can get rid of this. Um, I never reach for this. So we can get rid of this. This is the Hank and Henry Poison Palette. I'm going to get rid of it. I really like it, but I'm just going to get rid of it. I never reach for it. This is the Dominique uh, something palette. I don't know. Unconditional palette. And I'm going to keep these. I like these smaller palettes. Okay, these are these Fenty palettes. The Snap palettes, I'm definitely getting rid of. I don't reach for them. Getting rid of them. This as well, I'm getting rid of. This is like a highlighter. This is old, and I never even reach for it. Do they still even swatch? Oh, yeah, they do. But I'm not going to use it. I know I'm not, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Hank and Henry Fiego palette. Very, very pretty for the summer. I'm going to keep this for now, but if I don't use it and the summer ends, I'm going to get rid of it. I love this green shade. Rare Beauty. 
Selena Gomez line. I never reach for this. I'm going to get rid of it. Here's another Rare Beauty. Packaging's very beautiful. Again, I just don't reach for it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Kat Von D Shade and Light. I kept this. I, this is at least five, six years ago. I got in a TJ Maxx, but I'm going to get rid of it. Dragon Beauty. Um, every time I create a look and I don't do pinks, I love the way my look comes. So that's why I'm going to keep it. Living Color Hank and Henry getting rid of. It's way too bulky for me, but that's what it looks like. Uh, Dominique Cosmetics, this is the Sweather Weather Palette. I'm going to get rid of. Never do I reach for this, ever. This is uh, Dose of Colors. Oh, God, these were beautiful. But this palette is so old. Oh, they still swatch good. This has to be what? I don't know. Still, oh. I got to keep it for now. See, I, I can't swatch things. And then this is a small Trelouse palette. Let's see what it looks like, because I got rid of the big one. I'll keep this since it's a small one, and I got rid of the big one. Let's keep it in the drawer, because there's a lot. This is a lot of everything. I don't even know, like, uh, a lot of these I can get rid of. It, it's, I don't even know what's in here. Urban Decay, Huda, uh, but just stuff on top. It's like indie brands that I can get rid of. This is the Girls Gourmet. Let me just tell you, they got really good formula. I'm definitely keeping this, especially this shade right here. Very good formula. Keeping. Suva Beauty, the Magic and Ecstasy palette. I've never even used it, but it has a lot of pressed glitter in it, and I don't use pressed glitter, so I'm going to get rid of. This one, Ruby May, I'm getting rid of. I've had this for so long, and I never reach for it. Getting rid of. Lottie London. This is a really, I really like Lottie London's for its price. You can get this at Walmart. Uh, let's see. Do I want to keep it? Stop swatching. Oh, yes. I mean, look at that. Can you see that? I don't know, because the ring light's right on top of me. I'm keeping for drugstore. Cara Beauty. They have a nice formula, too, but I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Lorella uh, Scandal Palette. I'm going to get rid of. I never reach for it. This is Becca. Who remembers Becca? This is the Volcano Goddess, and I don't even think I've ever used it, but I'm going to get rid of it. Tarte. Remember these circle palettes? Getting rid of. I. Uh, it's so old, and I don't even reach for it. This is way too bulky. This is M Musi Beauty. The Rocco palette. Never even used it. I'm going to get rid of it. Rachel Couture. Never reach for this. It's definitely a beautiful palette, but I have so many colors like this, so I'm just, I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, another Becca. You guys see? Look at this. I think I got this in a TJ Maxx. I know that's blinding you here. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to keep this because it's very nice topper colors. So I'm going to keep. Here's another Tarte. I think I got this in BoxyCharm in 2017 or something like that. Getting rid of It's old. Delancey Avocado Palette. It's an all green palette. I think I just swatched a couple shades. Very pretty, but I already have green, so I, I'm gonna get rid of it. Ruby May, I really, I think this is the one I really like, yes. But I already have these shades, so I'm gonna get rid of, but this is really pretty. 
Lorella Desert Skies. This is pretty too, but I never reach for it, so I got to get rid of it. Okay. This is the Machino and Sephora. And this is the computer one. Let me show you. Right here, you can use a bra your brush to clean it, but I never reach for this. But I'm I'm not ready to get give it away yet. Just for nostalgic things, I don't know. Not yet. It's cute. It looks like a laptop. The Sephora Pro, I'm definitely not getting rid of. I even forgot that I had this. This is a nice, colorful palette, but I paid so much money for it. Here is another Becca. Never reach for it. Getting rid of it. Urban Decay Heat Palette. These used to be my shades. Oh, do I want to get rid of it? I think I am. I'm going to get rid of it. Urban Decay Naked 2 Palette. I think all of these I'm ready to get rid of. I, I don't even think I swatched the, these. But I'm, I'm just, I don't ever get, reach for these. I'm stuttering because I can't believe I'm getting rid of them. The Moon Dust Palette by Urban Decay. This is my favorite of theirs of the uh, shimmers. But this is old, um, so I'm going to get rid of it. Urban Decay Elements Palette. This is when Sephora would have their 50% off, and I would always buy two. One for a giveaway, one for me. So then I was still spending the same amount of money, but I, ne I don't even think I use this, but I got to get rid of it. A lot of wasted space in that. Okay. This is the Melt Cosmetics. I'm keeping all Melt um, ones. This is the Medi Medi Mariposa Palette. I'm keeping this. Urban to get Decay Naked Honey Palette. I'm going to get rid of this too. I never reach for this anymore. Here is the Melt Cosmetic Rust Palette. Keeping. The Melt Cosmetics 420 Palette. Keeping. The Melt Gemini 2 Palette. Keeping. Okay, Urban Decay Stone Palette. I never even swatched this. I'm just going to keep it and try it at least once. This I'm keeping just for the packaging. This is the Urban Decay um, Jean Michael Masquick. Um, he has passed away now, but look at this. I mean, and look, you can you can put a nail here and hang this. But just for the artwork, I'm keeping it. Born to Run Palette by Urban Decay. This was a good palette, but I never reach for it, so I'm getting rid of it. This one was so always so hard for me to get rid of by Urban Decay because you have one side shimmer of neutral and then the other side was color but it was really really good shimmer but it's so old i'm not never going to use it again so i'm going to get rid of it all right now we have our huda palettes this is our purple haze palette i'm go probably going to keep my huda palettes we have the huda beauty rose gold palette keeping we have the Naughty Palette, which I'm definitely keeping. This is a beautiful palette. Beautiful keeping. We have the Mercury Retro Keeping. Beautiful palette. Rose Quartz by Huda Beauty. I don't know if I showed you. I'm going to get ready to do a dupe with these um, two palettes here. Dupe videos. Okay. We have the um, Desert Dusk. Of course, I'm keeping this. 
the new nude palette keeping very pretty okay these ones I probably can get rid of these are old this is the Sapphire Obsessions palette I can get rid of the Emerald um, Obsessions I can get rid of the pastel mint I can get rid of I never reach for this but it's beautiful so I might keep it the uh, ruby one I can get rid of I can get rid of this there's another ruby one I have two of them We have the Mauve Obsessions. Get rid of. We have the Pastel Lilac Palette. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of. I'm not gonna use it. Can you guys see? Okay. This is the Warm Brown Obsessions. I'm gonna get rid of. The Coral Obsessions, getting rid of. I don't reach for these. The Amethyst Palette, I never reach for them. Goodbye. I will keep this one, the Nude one. This is the Rich Palette, very pretty, so I will keep this one. Holy crap, and that's everything in there. Found one more in there. This is the Urban Decay Lightweight Palette. That's what she looks like. I'm getting rid of it. Okay, this is going to be the last drawer for this video that I'm going to do. We still have plenty more, but I'll try to move fairly quickly. This is the Zoe Zoeba Palette, the Caramel Palette, and uh, I'm going to get rid of all my Zoeba Palettes. This is a Zoeva I'm not sure, taupe palette, I want to say. Never even used this. I'm getting rid of this. Suva Saffron palette. I really like this palette, but I'm getting rid of it. Disney Princess Sig Sigma. I'm keeping this. It's just beautiful. The packaging and everything. So I'm going to keep the Cinderella palette. Beauty Bakery, do it for the gram, getting rid of. Beauty Bakery Scoops palettes. Oh, this is a face palette, so I'm going to keep that. Why is that in here? Sigma Cor uh, Rosa. I love this palette, keeping this. Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. I'm not sure what this is. Never used it. I'm gonna get rid of it. We have our Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilbury down here. I don't know why I have that mixed in. Colored Rain Rose Garden, getting rid of it. Iconic London, I'm gonna get rid of it. Beauty Bakery uh, Sugar Cookies. I might keep this. This is pretty. Beauty Bakery, so how are you doing? I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. Tarte Pro Remix Palette. This puppy's old, too. I think I'm just going to keep it for the memories for now. Did I show it to you? I don't know why I have a hard time getting rid of my Tarte Palettes, too. Ruby May Mood, getting rid of it. Ruby May Bryce Palette, getting rid of. Ruby May Vibes Palette, getting rid of. Ruby May Peppermint Mocha, getting rid of. The Persona 2 Identity 2 Palette, uh, I'm keeping. I like the formula. Okay. Zoeva, getting rid of. All right, now, these are going to be the hard ones. Oh, Oakland, I'm going to get rid of this one. 
Okay. Charlotte Tilbury. I am definitely keeping this. I haven't even used this. This is a Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. Charlotte Tilbury. Keeping it. These are like, what, $75? All my Pat McGrath I am keeping. This is the Bronze Seduction palette. These are $125, so I'm definitely keeping these. Natasha Denona Tropic Palette. Now, I do not like this palette. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of it for these colors here. They're just... I'm going to keep it for now, but I might get rid of this palette later. Natasha Denona My Dream Palette Keeping. This is the Pat McGrath. I'm not sure which one this is, but this is what it looks like. Keeping. This is a Zendu palette. Keeping. Natasha Denona retro palette. Of course, I'm keeping. Natasha Denona bronze palette. Keeping. This is the Natasha Denona Love Palette, keeping. And then we have the Sunrise Palette, keeping. This is um, Danessa Myers, the Lightwork Volume 4 Palette, definitely keeping. I was looking for this palette. Met, uh, Metropolis palette by Natasha Denona. Love this palette. This is Natasha Denona Sunset palette. Keeping. This is my very first Natasha Denona palette I got. This is the $238 palette Natasha Denona. This is the green and brown palette. I'm keeping. I probably won't use it, but $240 I'm keeping. This is a Pat McGrath uh, Golden Ambiance Palette. Of course, I'm keeping. Pat McGrath Platinum Bronze Palette. Keeping. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is a Pat McGrath... Um, they did like a little highlighter thingy, uh, not highlighter, shimmer shade. I uh, They're not her formula. Don't like it. I'm going to get rid of it. This is the Cupid palette from Natasha Denona. I'm going to get rid of this. I haven't used it. We have a bunch of small palettes. This is the Mini Love Palette, Natasha Denona, keeping. This is the Cupid palette that I've used, so I'm going to keep that. Jubilee palette, keeping. The Coral palette, keeping. The Cranberry palette, keeping. Ayana palette, keeping. The Peak palette, keeping. This is the Natasha Denona number five palette. Keeping. Mini Lila palette or Lila palette. Keeping. This is the Pat McGrath um, little palette here. I'm keeping. Okay. The rest are Viseart palettes that I'm keeping all of them. Oh, this is a Charlotte Tilbury as well. This one right here. Keeping. This is the Luxury palette. This is the Exaggerates palette by Charlotte Tilbury, keeping. All right, here we go is a Viseart palette. This is the La Splash palette. What is going on? Keeping. These are two Viseart palettes here. Keeping, I believe we got this in BoxyCharm. So I'm keeping both of them. So the Theory Palette, so I'm keeping this one. That one. 
the small ones. Look at that, the four palette. There's another four palette keeping. This one I'm definitely keeping. This is so pretty. It's like a purple palette. Another purple palette. Keeping. Keeping. Keeping this one. This is like the coral palette. And keeping that one. All right. So that is everything for part one. Let me count everything up and I will be back. All right, I had to put the air on. It was getting warm in here. And I noticed towards the end, I was like getting sloppy with the, looking for the names and stuff. But I counted all of them up. We, I showed 198 palettes. I am keeping 124 and I'm decluttering 72 palettes. And I am not even halfway done. And I already have almost 200 palettes I showed you. This is terrible. But in the next coming ones, uh, in the next video, I should be getting rid of a lot more because we have a lot, a lot, a lot of indie palettes. So anyway, please like this video. It really helps me out or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really helps out with engagement, even if it's just an emoji. And uh, that is everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.